Hello, in this video, we're going to connect to a Xenus 16 GPS receiver in the network rover mode. So I'm going to use the Utah Reference Network for a source of corrections. The XPad, which is going to run on my cell phone, will log into the network, get the corrections from the network resource, and then pass those corrections to the GPS receiver. This is a very efficient way to run a network rover because I'm using my phone with XPad on it, which already has internet access. Let's get started. I'm going to start XPad. And I already have a job started, 123 Net Rover. I'll open that job. Let's go to Settings, GNSS Total Stations, and there's not a profile for this receiver, so we need to add a new one. So I'll click on Add, and I'll pick GNSS Receiver. I'm going to make the profile name be C16 Net Rover, and we'll change the model number to Xena 16. Click Next. Now, the device is not listed on my phone yet. I have not bonded with it. I'm going to click on Add Device down at the bottom. You'll notice it's not listed in my phone's Bluetooth devices yet either. So I'll click on Search. And the Xena 16 device is this GMC 17862777. That's the serial number of the receiver. Now that I've got it loaded into the Bluetooth manager, I'll click on Next and choose that as the device. We're going to receive corrections using the internet connection of the controller. We need to set up the server for the Utah network. I'm going to click the down arrow and then click on NTRIP servers and add. I'm going to call this TURN. That's a good acronym for the Utah Reference Network. The mode is NTRIP and the IP address is turngps.utah.gov. The port is 2101 and the user ID for my account is and the password is so I'll accept all of these values after I double check them. Click the back arrow and then for the server I'm going to choose turn. Now for the mount point, I'm going to click the down arrow here. I haven't downloaded the mount point yet, but all I need to do to get it is to click on the refresh button in the lower right. This will make an internet connection to the server and download the complete mount point list. The mount point that I want is GNSS VRS RTCM 3.2. That mount point is going to have the most signals from the most satellites on this particular server. The rest of these items are fine. I'll click the next button. I want to use Beidou and Galileo and 15 degrees is a great angle to cut off tracking. I'll click next. The height of my antenna is two meters. I have it on a two meter pole. And even though I'm selected feet here, I can put in two meters. I'll wait to configure the receiver until I start using it. So I'll click on No. Now I've set up an instrument to use with the Utah Reference Network. Let's connect to that instrument and store a point. Click the back arrow twice. Um, go to Survey and Survey Points. Receiver connected. Autonomous. Float position. Fixed position. Okay. My desired accuracy has been reached and I'm ready to store a position. To store a position in XPad, we can either push measure below or measure and store. I'm going to take the easy route here and click on measure and store. That is all there is to setting up a network rover in XPad. It's that simple. Thank you very much for watching this video. 